talk to you about how to correctly fit your cloth nappies. Lots of people that are new to cloth may think that it's quite difficult to use. However, I can assure you it's quite easy. Just stay tuned and I'm going to talk through a few things with you. So how to correctly fit a cloth nappy to your baby? It's actually quite really straightforward as I said before. Um, what you want to do is you want to place it on baby with most of the nappy actually towards the front than the back. It's very common for people wanting to put the nappy right up and then try and do it over because that's how you see single use ones being used. However with cloth you want to fit them nice and low at the back and so you can make the front bit nice and high so you can work with it. So first of all, as you're putting on, you need to ensure that the nappies are tucked into the leg creases. That's because if you're going to snap them here, they're gonna be uncomfortable and they're also going to be quite restrictive of movements. So it is important that you tuck it right into the leg creases for your baby's comfort. And you tuck everything in and what you want is you want the front part of the nappy to be around about baby's belly button. As baby grows and becomes a toddler and an older baby then the fit you find is probably more comfortable to be just below it. But for smaller babies and this doll is one we will do it um, with the smaller setting and around about the belly button. So once you've got your legs sorted you then must work out where your snaps are going to go. And what you really want is you want it to be snug, but not too tight. One and two. To check the fit, you should be able to place two of your fingers in the baby's waist. It will feel snug, but not too tight. You want to make sure that there's no fabric poking out around the legs and you've got no gaps, which we have none with this baby as you can see. And you check the same on the other side. So here we have a Tots Box Peanuts now and they have Velcro. So it's slightly more familiar to those that have not used cloth before because that's what single use ones look like. like. However, the fit still um, going to be a little bit different. So I'll talk it through with you. Again, to start, you want the nappy to be nice and low at the back. You don't want a lot of the nappy on baby's bottom. You want it all at the front because you need to make sure that the fit is well at the front with all the different settings that you've got. So you want to be able to work with it. So nappy on, and then we're gonna bring it up. Again, I like to tuck it right into the leg creases. You have it there. Again, the fit it will be the same as the snaps around about baby's, baby's belly button. Um, talking about that, if your baby is a newborn and the cord's still on, it's perfectly fine to place it over it. So you're going to tuck it right in. This important with the Velcro that you make it nice and snug around about the waist because if you leave it like that, you're not gonna get good fit. So nice and snug, place it here and you bring it over and the same on the other side and you bring it over okay and then you tuck it into the leg creases and your nappy is ready to go a lot of people say that the velcro rubs on baby's tummy so just make sure that you have the sides right up there so that it protects baby's skin from the velcro which is slightly scratchy Another point lots of parents have um, in common is that they say that cloth nappies take too long to put on baby. Once you've perfected your fit, it's actually quite quickly to do it. I've done it in slow motion, but I want to show you actually it can be quite straightforward. So just watch me. change nappy. Oh, it's so much easier to fit a nappy on a baby that doesn't move. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> okay, so baby, you are 
so much easier than my toddler. And one and two, and you're ready.